I prove him over and over. Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust him more. The more you lean on him, the more he's leanable. And he is able to secure us in all of our difficulties and our trials, our tribulation, because he likewise took part of a fleshly body. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, your tender mercy, your kindness, and your joy. In knowing that thou art God and beside thee there is none other, we thank you for Jesus who came that we might live and not die. His grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. We thank you for blessing us, protecting us through seen and unseen danger, watching over the drivers while they're out on the highways. Thank you for the testimonies, songs of Zion. We thank you, Father, for each and every individual that have pressed their way in today, and those that may be tuned in today, that we each may be filled with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding, that we might be properly prepared for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In his name, we come and we thank thee, both now and forevermore. Together can we all say, Amen. Amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the diggers that are assembled to the congregation. We say good afternoon and may God bless you. For truly God is good, and his mercy endureth to what? All generation. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, respect first to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. Thank God for his wonderful, magnificent grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. Thank God for watching over us protecting us through seen and unseen danger, and then for giving us a mind to press our way. As we enter into his courts, church, we should do so with praise and then what? Bless his name. Because God is worthy of all the praise. Amen. The honor and the glory. Amen. Thank God for the sparks on this, the 24th day of February. Just about gone. <clears throat> 2013. The first one says, hate makes you miserable. Love makes you happy. Amen. And the reason being is because God is love. And as great as he is, you cannot possess the love of God or love in you without being happy. Amen. The second says, there is no happiness except it be found in love. And here it is again, because who? God is love. And when you are in God, and God is in you, you're happy. Amen. No matter what comes or what goes, as Dean Keith was testifying of trying to get where he wanted to be and couldn't get there because of certain situations, he get there and he find that the love of God has kept him from getting to that point because of the accident that was happening, and he'll probably have been right in the middle of it if God hadn't deterred him in another direction. So we thank God. And there's no happiness except to be found in God. Third says, don't let the sun go down on your head with the wound unhealed in the heart of one you've hurt. Amen? Don't let the sun go down. If you've done something to anger someone, you've done something to hurt someone, you've done something to upset someone, then you make sure that before the sun go down, on your head, he says, and you uh, get that thing straight. So don't let the sun go down on your head with the wound unhealed. It doesn't take but a few words. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I made an error, I misspoke, I did what I shouldn't have done, forgive me, amen. Then it's off of you. You have done what? Healed the wound, amen. It don't take but a few kind words.
to make someone smile again. Amen. And on the back of the program, it says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, we are after the likeness of Adam, flesh and blood, we shall die. Amen. As you see, babies come into the world. And they got all this energy. And after you get 60 to 70 years old, you don't have the energy that you once had. You're going back to the earth from which you came. Amen. For in Adam, all die. Even so in Christ, shall all be made, watch this, alive. Herein is, and I take it personally, my joy. In knowing that Jesus is the answer for the world today. Whenever you do what's right, then that which is right will support you. Amen. Whatever you do, it's coming back. If you do good, good is coming to you. If you do wrong, wrong is coming to you. So you shall reap what you sow. So if you sow unto the flesh, stand by. Of the flesh you shall reap corruption. But if you sow unto the spirit of the spirit, you shall reap life everlasting. So it is my joy in knowing that Jesus is the answer. And he came that I might have life, that I might have it more abundant, abundant, abundantly. Not just have steak, but have steak and potatoes. Amen. That's life abundantly. So truly we want to thank God indeed for each and every one of you being out today. In front of your page it says, there is great joy in knowing. Amen. There is great joy in knowing. In knowing what? In knowing that God is. In knowing that Jesus loves me. In knowing that there is coming a day when all the saints of God shall sing, praise the Lord. Amen. So I thank God for my wife. I thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for the church of God, the standard of the church, the principles, the teachings, and the doctrines of Christ. I thank God for being happy in Jesus alone. Amen. It doesn't matter who he is or what he is, but as long as you got Jesus, everything is all right. <clears throat> and it's important. And I thank God for his shield of protection yeah. round about us all and protecting us mm -hmm. through seen and then unseen danger. Seen and then unseen. As Deacon Keith said, here's the car out in the middle of the highway in the middle of the night, and people zooming down the highway at 70, 75 miles an hour, and they don't see this until it's too late, then there's another big accident out there. God saw fit to watch over you, to keep you from the unseen danger, the things that you don't see. Amen. There's some things you can see. And there's other things that you don't see. And you say, where did that come from? I didn't see that. And all of a sudden, and things do happen quickly, so quick. So you find me still saved and sanctified today, kept by the power of God. Got one desire, one determination to press onward. Thank God for the man and the woman of God who was fixed up one day with the word. And they preached and taught the gospel. Men, women, boys, and girls should live a life free from sin. And my parents heard this word one day, hit it into their hearts, and then in turn taught it to me. And I thank God for being born in the way. Read in the way and then still in the way that leadeth to life everlasting. Thank God for not knowing the depths of sin as others may have. But I've always lived a clean life. I've told a lie here and a lie there. All sin is punishable. Amen. I remember 
taking something that didn't belong to me. And I was asked that I take it, and I said no. And when I found out that I had taken it, I got a whipping for it. Amen. So you're going to suffer for the wrong which you have done, and there's no respect of person where God is concerned. Sooner or later, it's going to come back to catch you. If you do good, it's coming back sooner or later. As Brother John was testifying of what's coming his way because of the way in which he treated the individual that was shunned by others. Amen. You never know, church. The Lord said, be careful how you entertain strangers because they have entertained angels, what, unawares. So we want to thank God indeed for all things, the testimonies, the songs of Zion, each and every one of you pressing, pressing your way. Today we want to speak to you about the hope beyond this life. Amen. Hope beyond this life. Amen. Some people live today and don't worry about what's going to happen afterwards. But you have to have a hope beyond this life. Because if in this life only you have hope, then you are miserable. Realizing and knowing that you don't have any pre-planned status. Amen. But church, I'm, as one preacher would say, building a home. Amen. There's a mansion. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Amen. That after this life, you might be able to walk in Jerusalem just like John, as the song said. You'll be able to behold the beauty of the Lord and then be able to inquire in God's temple, the place where the streets are paved with gold. Amen. All manner of fruit in this tree that shall be there. No more sadness, no more sorrow, no more crying. A place where there's no more sickness, no more pain. What a blessing. Amen. So I'm living. I'm living for the promise. The hope beyond this life. When we speak of hope, we're speaking about the wish or the confidence in something with expectation of its, watch this now, fulfillment. Amen. You know, I just learned that one of the the Filipino young ladies that we have known just got engaged today. Early on, they're 12 years, 12 hours before us. And so she got engaged and there was such great joy <laughs> over her engagement. And so that's an expectation of every young woman young man's desire in God, in God now, they have an expectation and the fulfillment of that, of having a family, you know, when the wife and I first started talking and things wasn't moving as smooth as and quickly as they should have been, I wrote her a letter and I told her about a picture that I had of two people that met, fell in love, got married and had children. Well, see, that's the expectation, that's the fulfillment of the plan that every young individual in Christ do have, that they find someone that they love, that they get married, amen, and have children. That's the expectation, that's the fulfillment. And all mothers and all fathers look for those grandchildren to come along. That's the fulfillment, amen. And so when we're speaking about hope, we are talking about the wish or the confidence in something with expectation of its fulfillment. And we're talking about the fulfillment or the finalization of this life and then stepping off into the life that will be. Amen. We're talking about the good time. Then God had no more aches and pains, sadness and shame where there's nothing but joy, peace, love, happiness, wherein dwelleth, dwelleth righteousness, God says. There's going to be no sin there. There's going to be no evil there. There's going to be no drunkards there. There's going to be no thieves there. But it's going to be nothing but a happy time all the way throughout, watch this, eternity. Amen. That's my expectation. What about yours? Amen. 
Now, the word beyond is on the far side of, amen, of this light. Looking beyond this light, the far beyond of this life, the past, the world beyond, watch this, death. Oh, yeah, there is a world beyond death. And then the hereafter. Now, where you spend hereafter determines your attitude today. Amen. You don't know when the Lord is coming. He's coming as a thief. And if you're not ready when he comes, then your hereafter will be with those that are damnable. Amen. Those that have been chosen to separate themselves from God. And you're talking about a miserable day. And guess what? It is also forever. Amen. Eternally. Eternal damnation is the hereafter. But my expectation, church, is to be eternally with God. Where there's peace, there's joy, there's happiness. And then the word this is used to refer to the present event, action, or time. We're talking about hope beyond this. The life that we're living in now, bill collectors, taxes. Every time you turn around, you got a tax for this and a tax for that, and you tax, 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 tax. Amen. Taxation without representation. Amen. That's what started the first celebrating of getting away from the mother country. Amen. Here it is coming in again. But where are you going to go now? Amen. Turn it all over to Jesus and smile. Amen. Turn it all over to Jesus. Now, the life, L-I-F-E, the interval of time between birth and death. So we are living. If you, you're sitting here looking at me right now or tuning in right now, you're living. Amen. And somewhere in between here is what we classified as life. Your birth to your death. Now, in, in this particular life, we only have hope. Then we're miserable. We have to prepare for hereafter. Amen. Dig it, if you will, congregation. Help me out here. I want to turn to the book of 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> you say congratulations to Precious on her engagement. You know, there's nothing. Digging Keith kind of hit me on it, and he said he came across a, a link today that Precious got engaged. And all oh, there's such people such jumping and rejoicing and everybody is happy, amen, over that engagement, amen. I think the young man's name was Sunday or something more like that. But they got engaged today. And we want to say congratulations to the two of them and may their engagement lead into the happiness and the fulfillment that marriage in God only can bring. Amen. You got all kinds of marriages out here nowadays, but these marriages is not of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. But this is one man and one woman engaged to be married that God has ordained for marriage to be. Amen. If you're not in God, it's just nothing than an arrangement. Amen. It's not of God unless it is according to God's way. Amen. So in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, <clears throat> beginning at the very first verse, the Apostle Paul spoke these words. Moreover, brethren, I do what? I declare unto you the gospel which Wh I preached unto you. Which what? Which also you have received. Wherein and, what? And wherein ye stand. Amen. If you're standing in the gospel today, it's because mm -hmm. of the preaching of the gospel. The yes. word that has been administered unto you. Read. By which also ye are saved. By which also ye are saved. If now, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless what? Unless ye have believed in vain. Amen. Yes. As the elder said, all my preaching can do you no good unless you believe it. Amen. Listen, read. For I deliver unto you first. First of all, what? 
that which I also receive, which I receive, how that Christ Jesus died for what? For our sins. Amen. And what? According to the scriptures. Amen. And yeah. it's all written, church. So there's no misunderstanding here. It is all written. Christ came that he might live and die for our sins. He came that we might have life and then that we might have it more what? Abundantly. Abundantly. Listen, yeah. read. And that he was buried and that he rose again. Amen. According to scriptures now, that he was buried and that he did what? Again when? The third day. According to what? The scripture. It's written. Amen. Yes. It is all written. Read. And that he was seen of Cyprus. Read. Then of the twelve. After that what? He was seen of about 5,000 brethren. 500 brethren 500 at brothers. once. At once. Of yeah. whom the greater part remain unto this present time, Paul says. But some are what? Falling, falling asleep. You see, in Christ, you yeah. go asleep. Outside of Christ, you die. Amen. Mm -hmm. So as Paul was making it plain, according to scriptures, there's some that have fallen asleep. Read. Yeah. After that, he was seen of James. And then? Of all the apostles. And? And last of all, he was seen of me also. Read. As of one born out of due time. Amen. As he was on his way to Damascus. Yes. He was met. Amen. Knocked him down off of the animal that he was riding and it blinded him. Mm -hmm. The light. Jesus is the light, the light of the world. Yes. He says, who art thou? He says, I am Jesus, whom thou what persecuted. Yes. Amen. So I was seen. And mm -hmm. last of all, he was seen by me also as a one born out of due time. Mm -hmm. Read. For I am the least. I am the least of the apostles uh -huh. that are not me to be called an apostle. Why? Because of what? I persecuted the church of God. Amen. Church, Satan is not interested in persecuting his church. Mm-hmm. He's going to work on the church mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. Why? Because it is the only church that was purchased by the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. So just know that if you are a member of the church of God, stand by for persecution. Yes. As Paul was on his way up to Damascus to commit some more of them. He says, I was persecuting. They feared this man. Even Ananias, whom God had told, he's coming up here, and I want you to go down there and pray for him. He said, well, Matt, Lord, is not this the man that, that threw people in jail and he committed them to prison? Mm -hmm. He said, he's a servant of mine. Yeah. Ananias went down there and did what the Lord told him to do. And Paul's eyes, scales fell off. Mm -hmm. And he didn't begin to see. Some folks still got scales on their eyes. Yes. They can't see today. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm. But it was yeah. as if scales had fallen off his eyes. Mm. And Paul then became a witness for Jesus. Read, mm -hmm. brother. But by the grace of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. It's not in vain when you get up and do what you're supposed to do. If God has administered grace unto you, mm -hmm. he's blessed you to receive fruit in the womb that you bring forth a child, then that is grace that is bestowed upon you. Now, you don't want that grace to be in vain by failing to train up the child in the way that it should go. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he said his grace was what? But by grace, what? Yes. I am what I am. What I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was what? Not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but it was the grace of God which was with me. Yes. Amen. Read. Therefore, whether it were I or they. So what? So we preach. And so what? And so ye believe. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? Mm -hmm. 
that's a big thing going on. Christ didn't get up. Amen. They stole him. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. They stole him. But the angel said, why seek you to live it among the dead? He's not here. He's risen just as he said. He said, you destroy this body, and in three days I'll raise it up again. Yeah. And they went to him and said, remember now, this deceiver said that he's going to, you know, rise up again. So I want you to put some guards there to protect him that he won't rise from the dead. But guess what? He got up anyhow. And he didn't get up by the power of man, but he got up by the power of the almighty God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the tomb was empty. Why? Because he had risen, just like he said. Read. But if there be no resurrection of the dead. Then what? Then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then what? Our preaching in vain. And what? And your faith also vain. Amen. Yeah. So the preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. You believe that there is hope beyond this life? Mm, Amen. Mm, mm. God bless you. If you believe that there is no hope, Amen. You're in trouble. You got to live so that you're preparing for the day hereafter. Amen. Yeah. Listen, read. Ye and, Ye we, and are we are what? A false witness. We are found false, false witnesses, witnesses of, of God, God because what? We have testified of God that, that he raised up Christ. Whom? He raised not up. If? If so, be that the, ra the dead raised not, Amen. rise not. Mm -hmm. Now God said he did. Yes. Now who are you to say what God said ain't going to be? Yes. If God said it, amen. Mm -hmm. the sister say God said it, Jesus did it, I believe it, and what? That's how it. Yeah. There's a period behind. That means nothing else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. For if the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, what? Then is not Christ raised. Then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, and you are yet, what? In your in sins. sins. Read. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ. Are what? Are Perish perished. because there is no hope beyond. Mm -hmm. There's no expectation beyond. Amen. The fulfillment of is eternal life with God. Yeah. That's the fulfillment of the expectation. That's the hope that we have eternal life in him. Read. If in this life only if we now, have hope in Christ. If now in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most what? Miserable. Miserable. Yes. You see some folks just natural born miserable. You see them yeah. sitting at traffic light with their mouths stuck out. Mad with the world. Why? Because they don't have no hope. Yeah. See, if Jesus come back and find you mad with the world, mm -hmm. you're going to be mad with the world throughout eternity. Yeah. He come back and he find that you're happy. You're sitting at the light, traffic light, smiling, glad to know that I am alive and that I'm living for the promise that he has promised me eternal life beyond yeah. this life one day. When I was in the Marine Corps, we were going through all the training because you see that the war was going on. And they was pushing us through. It was a 12-week course, and they were pushing us through, pushing us through, pushing us through. And there was so much pressure being pushed through and training, pushing through. And I used to always look up in the sky. And this song would come to me, skies won't be cloudy always. Mm -hmm. The sun is going to shine again. No matter what you're going through in this life, there mm -hmm. is hope beyond this life. Yeah. And the expectation of what that brings is the fulfillment of my joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen, read. But now is but Christ now risen from the dead. Is Christ risen from the dead and what? And become the first And is, without a doubt, slept. according to scriptures, and I believe this, but now is Christ risen from the dead, no matter what others may say or think, and become the first fruit. He got up of yeah. them that what? Slept. slept. Read. For well, since by man came death. Since by man, Adam sinned, and because of Adam's sin, we all have to die. Amen. Mm -hmm. For since by man came death, what? By man came also the resurrection. The resurrection of the, dead. of the dead. For as in Adam all what? Die. Do die. And what? Yeah. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Amen. I believe that. What about you? Yes. We must live so that we are 
prepare it for the expectations beyond this life. Yes. Amen. As parents grow up, you know, they have this expectation of their children going to school, so they begin to put a little, a little something here, a little something there, put a little something there in a fund, so that, just like we're having the Rita Searle Robinson Foundation fund program tonight, and that is to get tuition money into the fund that they might educate those who are in need. Amen. And so it should be supported. Yeah. Amen. It should be supported. Because people want to be educated today. Mm -hmm. And we want to have a debt. Mm -hmm. Amen. But in all your education, don't forget God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read, brother. But every man in his own order. But every man in his own order, what? Christ the first fruit. Christ the first fruit. Afterwards, they that are Christ is at his coming. Then cometh the end when what? When he shall have delivered up the kingdom of God. Read. Even the Father. And? When he shall have put down all rule. And all, all rule. And what? And all authority. And, and all authority. And what? And power. And power. And what? For he must reign. Till when? Till he have put all enemies under his feet. Now watch this. The last enemy is who? That shall be destroyed is death. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Turn over to Hebrews. Second chapter. <clears throat> the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Yes. Hebrews 2.14. It says, for as much then as, cry, as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the what? Same. That what? The same. Read. That through death he might. That through death. Through death he might do what? Destroy him that hath power of death. Destroy him that had the power. Mm -hmm. Somebody walk up to you and shoot a 44 Magnum at you and say, I'll blow your brains out if you don't give me all that you got. The first thing you're going to say, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, please. I'll give it to you. Fear, fear, mm -hmm. fear. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is who? The devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. Anybody would put a 44 Magnum in your face and tell you you're going to blow your brains out if you don't give you all that. That's none other than the devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's not God. God said, come unto me, all you that are burdened and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. You don't shoot a 44 Magnum in your face and tell you, I'm going to blow your brains out if you don't give me all your money. What good is money going to do to God? God don't need your money. Mm -hmm. He wants your soul. And he throws out an invitation to you that you may come unto me, all you that are burdened and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Amen. He don't force you. He invites you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read, brother. And deliver them who through fear of death. Amen. And deliver them who through fear, through fear of death, die. And wanting scared to die. Scared to die. Amen. Everybody's doing everything they can to try to preserve their life. I want to live. But what about afterwards? This life. Mm -hmm. If you're just living for the day and this life, what are you doing about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. The hereafter. Yes. Amen. The wish or the confidence in something with expectations and its fulfillment. What about what God has promised you tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. If in this life only we have hope. Mm -hmm. In fear, God delivered them. When Jesus destroyed him that had the power of death, he delivered us who through fear of dying where their lifetime, whole lifetime, even when you're coming up, even as a parent of the child, you see a child suffering, you're trying to keep that child what, alive. Mm -hmm. You're doing everything you can for life. But what are you doing for life in the hereafter? Amen. Yeah. Read, brother. Where all their lifetime subject to bondage. Read. 
For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. But what? But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brother, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to whom? God. God. To make a reconciliation for the sins of the people. Jesus became the perpetuation for our sins. Yes. Amen. Yes. The blood that he shed mm -hmm. on Calvary. Yes. Amen. It cleanses yes. from all sin. Read, brother. For, for, in what? The, for in that he himself. For in that he himself have suffered, being tempted. Read. He is able to secure them that are tempted. Amen. He's able to help you as you go through your temptation, mm -hmm. your trials, your tribulations, mm -hmm. your sufferings. Your agony, your defeat, God is able. Amen? Yeah. So listen, back over in Corinthians, 15th chapter. 27th verse beginning says what? <clears throat> For he had put all things under his feet. Getting back to putting all things. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. The 27th verse says, for he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifested or manifest that he is what? Accepted. 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 You don't turn around and give something precious to someone that's going to make a mockery of it. Yes. Jesus became accepted. He searched here, he searched there, and he couldn't find anything. So he said, I'm going to take my word and wrap it up in a fleshly body and send it into the world. Amen. And thank God for that love. Mm -hmm. Amen. God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have yeah. what? Everlasting life. For he must reign. Till he had put all enemies on his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he had put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him. It is manifest that he is accepted. Which did put all things under him. Jesus paid it all. Yes. And guess what? All to him I do owe. Yeah. And what about you? Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. And when all things shall be subdued all unto things, him. All things shall be subdued unto him. Then shall the son do what? Also himself be subject unto him that put all things unto him. That what? That God may be all in all. You know, and that's, that's due respect. Yes. Recognizing that God is over all. He put everything and gave me the power to be able to put everything under and even to destroy death. Now, after all of this is done, he's going to turn around then and send it back to God. It's just like when you gone through and your parents done paid for you to get through school and paid you to get married and done, done all this kind of help for you. And what you do is you turn around then and ig them. No respect. Mm -hmm. But when you look at and you've got the right interpretation of what is, and you get to a position, and you say, I thank God for you, Mom. I thank God for you, Dad. I thank God for the man and the woman of God who did everything to help me to be where I am today. Give honor and praise unto him. So Jesus, after looking at all that he had given and was given unto him to do, he turned around then and turned it all back over to God the Father. Mm -hmm. So that what? Read. Else, what shall they do which are... 28th absent? verse, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be what? Subject, Subject unto, unto him, him that put all, all things, things under, under him, him, that God may be what? All, all in all. Amen. Yeah. So you can't argue with that, because he's all in all. Next verse says what? Else, what shall they do? What which shall they do? Are which are baptized, baptized for the dead, if the dead raise not at all. Why are you then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? Read. I protest by I the I protest, he says. Read. 
By your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Watch this now. I do what? Die daily. Amen. Church, you've got to die in order to live. You hear what I'm saying? You yeah. must die in order to live. You got to yeah. die in that attitude. You got to die in the taste, the desires, the determinations that is not of God. You must die in those things. And being flesh, yeah. amen, there's all sorts of things that you have that ought not so to be. So you must what? Die mm -hmm. daily. When you yeah. come across something that you read in the scripture, and the scripture says, thou shalt not do thus and thus so, you must die in that. Yes. As we're reading the third, <clears throat> put away all these things, malice and hate and things of this nature. The first thing he named was fornication, uncleanness. All these things you must die. And they are in the flesh. They are in the flesh. But mm -hmm. you must die daily in that thing. Read. If after the manner of men. If after the manner of men I fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow what? We die. Amen. If it's in this life only, we have hope. What's the use? I might yeah. well just do everything I'm big enough to do and die. Mm -hmm. But now, church, watch this. Read. Be what? Be not deceived. Read. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Amen. You got to watch out for that evil community. Oh, we, it, this ain't going to happen. So you just go ahead and live it up. Live it up. Mm -hmm. We all going to die. Yeah, we all going to die. But shall a man live again? Mm -hmm. Amen. There's hope beyond the grave. Jesus got up one day. And that's evident there is life beyond this life. In the life where he is, you look at and see where he is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. And he's there making intercession for you and I. What a joy. Mm -hmm. That must be a magnificent place to be, to see the magnificence of God Almighty at work. To be just sitting there and watching him work. So many different things he's doing all at the same time. Talking about multitask. Amen. God is a multitask master. He's a master at it. This one over here and that one over here and he over here and that over there. Some up in the air, some is on the water, some on the railway, some on the highway. And God taking care of all of them. And just taking and fixing everything. Mm. Woo! Yes. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Listen, read. Awake to righteousness. Do what? Awake to righteousness. And do what? And sin not. Sin not, read. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to who? Your shame. Why? Because you're supposed to let your light so shine. Yes. What you hear here, you're supposed to tell it. That the others may see, know, and understand that there is. Mm -hmm. There is. There is. There is. A reality. There is a life beyond this life. Yes. Amen. I don't want you to just go through this life to think that when you die, that's the end of it. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not the end of it when you die. Mm -hmm. You're going to get up again. Yeah. And how you die determines where you're getting up and what you're getting up for and which direction you are going at your getting up. Turn over to uh, St. John. Fifth chapter. We're talking about hope beyond this life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Once you begin right at the uh, 24th, 24th verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you. Read. He that hears my word. He that heareth. Heareth my word, and then what? And believe on him. And believeth on God Almighty that did what? That sent me. That sent me and put all things under my feet, who gave me the power and the honor to be able to control and to do all of this, and it is he whom now I am turning things back over to. It is God the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me, and the only way that you can believe on him that sent, he must be talking about someone that is greater than he is. Yes. 
He's given honor to the Father. Yes. Amen. Read. Has everlasting life. Amen. You believe in him that have sent me, but you have everlasting. If you believe it now, you have everlasting life. I'm not talking about everlasting damnation. I'm talking about everlasting life. There is a hope beyond this life. And it has great fulfillment. And the expectation of it, amen, I'm expecting great things. Just like when you get married, you're expecting great things. Amen. amen. Read, brother. And shall not come unto condemnation. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Have eternal life. If you believe on him that sent me, you will have eternal life and shall not come into condemnation. But what? But is passed from but death you will pass unto life. from death unto, unto life. life. See, you hear people say Jesus is the bridge over what troubled Trouble water. water. There it is. You will be passed from death unto life. Yeah. And guess who's carrying you over? Jesus is the answer. Yeah. Read. Verily, verily, I say. Verily, verily, I say unto you what? The hour is coming. The hour is coming, and what? And now, and is, now is when who? Where the dead. The dead. There are folks water. walking around every day dead, and they're still walking. Mm -hmm. They haven't come to the knowledge of the truth. Walking around still in sin. Amen. Dead. Dead to love. Dead to peace. Dead to joy. Dead to happiness. Dead to the faith and the confidence and the trust of God. Aliens of the commonwealth of Israel. Mm -hmm. The hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall what? Live. Live. Next verse says what? For as the Father hath life in himself. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself and have given him authority to execute judgment. Why? Also. Because he is. The Son of Man. Amen. He gave him the power to put it all under. And then Jesus turned around and turned it back over to him. What yes. respect. Yes. Read, brother. Marvel not at this. Marvel not at this for the what? For the hour is coming. In the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. What? They that have done good. Unto what? Unto the resurrection. Resurrection of life. Of life. Listen, church. Here it is. Those that have done good. Unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto what? The resurrection of damnation. Amen. Yes. What's your choice? Life or damnation? There is, there is hope beyond this life. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you yes. only got hope in this life and nothing beyond this life, you're miserable. Amen. Yes. Next verse says what? I can of my own self. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I do what? I judge. And what? And my judgment is just. And my judgment is just because I seek my, my own, but the will of God which hath sent me. Back over in the First Corinthians, 15 chapter. Fiftieth verse. Listen to this. Fifteen fifty. Listen now this I say, brethren. Now this I say, brethren, sisters also. Read. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom flesh of God. Flesh and blood cannot. Amen. Can not inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Read. Behold, I what? I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but what? But we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the what? In the twinkling of an eye. Read at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised. How? Incorruptible and what? And we shall be changed. Amen. And if you're alive when he comes, 
Yes. Then there's going to be a transformation taking place. Yes. Amen. You're going to be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. The next verse says what? For this corruptible, For this corruptible body, this corruptible body must do what? Put on incorruption. Put on incorruption and this mortal that is walking around must put on what? Immortality. Immortality. Please. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption. So when the dead in the grave, the corrupting, shall have put on incorruption, the, the, the deterioration stops immediately. Mm -hmm. Amen. Putting on incorruption and this mortal, you walking around, amen, flesh and blood and all of us formation takes place. You put on what? Immortality. What? Mm -hmm. Then shall be brought to pass the sand that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Amen. Death swallowed up. Amen. It no longer has the power that it once had because Jesus destroyed that enemy. Amen. Yes. Listen, read. O death. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Read. The sting of death is sin. Amen. You see that, church? Sin is none other than the transgression of the law. Mm -hmm. Pure and simple. Mom tell you to be in the house at 11 o'clock. You don't come in at 11.30 and say, I'm grown. I can do what I want to do. Well, if you can grown and do what you want to do, why are you still living in your mama's house? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Get your own house, then you can set your own rules and regulations. So you have transgressed the laws of your mother's house by failing to come in properly on time. Yes. How we doing, church? Yes. It's just that simple. Just that simple, transgressing the law. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is what? Sin. S-I-N. Read. And the strength of sin and is the law. And the strength of the sin is the law. What gives mom power to lock the door is that she is the greater of the two. Yes. She can lock the door if she wants to. It's her door. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's God's kingdom. And if you expect to get in God's kingdom, guess what? You got to do God's will. Yeah. It's his kingdom. He got the key. Amen. Yes, indeed. The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law because the law says thou shalt not it has the greater power over you that's why yes. the law can come and lock you up yes that's why the officer on the highway can give you a ticket amen and summons you to court because you failed to obey what the, the law. law yes amen the strength of sin is the law but god be thanked read but thanks be to God. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the what? The victory, victory through who? Through who? To our Lord Jesus Christ. To our Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye the what? Steadfast. Steadfast, read. Unmovable. Unmovable, read. Always abounding in the work Always of the Lord. Always be abounding in the work of God, read. For as, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain, in the Lord. Your expectation and the fulfillment of your hope beyond this life mm -hmm. is eternal life with God. Amen. Thank you, David. Thank you, congregation. Everybody believes I heard the truth today. The Lord said you shall know the truth and the truth shall what? Make you free. Free from what? Whatever's holding you captive against your will. So may God bless you. Heaven ever smile upon you. Keep me in your prayers and may ever stand firm. And be true and be all that God will have me to be. There is, there is life beyond this day. Do what you can do to prepare for the coming of the Lord. For in a day that you think not, the Lord doth come. Amen. So may God bless you, heaven, and will smile upon you. Keep me in your prayers. And may I stand firm and be true. Be all that God will have me to be. Turn the service back over to the deacons. Thank you.